You clicked on this video because you want to know how to become the best Bloxburg player in any server. Or maybe you were one of the 100 people I gave Bloxburg to for the first time in my last upload and want to become noob to pro really fast. I got you. I've been playing the game for over five years, so I've learned a little bit. I've also been traumatized a lot bit. The number one tip I can give to anybody, and this is really basic and surface level, is to have an impressive home. I would say 75% of Bloxburg is about building, unless you're really into role playing or you're a workaholic for whatever reason. But nonetheless, both of those still require having a nice house or you work a lot to have a nice house. Now, I do feel like a little bit of a fraud right now. I didn't actually build this. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I hired someone on Fiverr to build this, but it's still one of my best plots. I really like the modern look. Now, the definition of having an impressive house is really up to you. I mean, to some people, it's about having a million dollar mansion on a hillside and 10 bedrooms and 12 bathrooms and more rooms than you can imagine to decorate. But for others, it's just about having a really detailed, nice, small, cozy house. I mean, it's really up to you what you think is impressive, but I can tell you that if you're still living in the noob house, or if your building skills lack a little bit, then that's not gonna make you a Bloxburg pro. Wait, that sounds so mean. Okay, okay, <laughs> this video is meant to be harsh and critiquing, okay? So don't take anything I say too personally. I'm about to hear all about this on Twitter later today. I already know it. I really sound like a finance YouTuber or something because my next um, topic is drive a fancy car. <laughs> Here's an example, um, my beautiful $200,000 car. Why did I buy this? I don't know, it only drives two people. It's not even practical. If it's raining out, you're kind of doomed. It's not even convertible. Obviously, you don't have to spend $200,000 on a car, but if you're driving around the little Rote 500 everywhere, I doubt you're gonna stand out in a server and you're not gonna wow your friends like, oh my gosh, the Rote 500? That's my dream car. Also, preferably something with more seating. I mean, maybe get the mom van with like uh, six seats because this, this ain't working. But it's fine because, you know, I don't have any friends to drive around anyways. Anyways, next segment. This goes with having a nice fancy house, but I recommend to have multiple plots that you can load up at different times. It is impressive when somebody loads up their fancy little mansion and then next they load up their cat cafe and then next they load up their grand hotel. I mean, this was happening to me yesterday. I was in a server with like float Roblox, if you know who that is, and they were loading up like their zoos and stuff and I'm just standing here like... So if you're able to save up and get the blocks bucks and the money to build other plots, I mean, that's a pretty respectable thing. There's nothing more rich than that than having multiple million dollar houses. Here's an example of one of my million dollar plots. I tried making a getaway, a getaway? A boarding school. <laughs> a getaway school. I'm in a getaway school. I left them in the getaway school. Someone buy me Taylor Swift concert tickets. Thank you. Gosh, you can tell this is during my linen stage, which is kind of never ending. And I guess another random point that isn't on my list, but if you want to be a cool Bloxburg player, use a little bit of linen here and there, but not this much. The next point on my list is to buy every Bloxburg game pass. Now, I do realize, okay, I'm not that insensitive that not everyone can afford the thousands of Robux that it takes to buy all the game passes, but if you can slowly over time build up your savings, you can probably afford the most important ones like advanced placement, multiple floors, excellent employee, and if you do want to stand out in a server, actually, you're not even even gonna stand out anymore. Everyone owns the premium game pass. So if you wanna be like everybody else and um, fit in with the crowd, <laughs> you could also buy that one, which is useless, but shh. I am actually curious, how much money does it take to buy all the game passes? Let me do a little bit of research real quick. How much are all the... Luxburg. Players will need to spend 2,330 Robux. So basically like $23, is that it? When you put that into perspective that I spent $23 to buy some Bloxburg game passes, it makes me realize what am I doing with my life? Anyways, next point. Now those last four points were kind of more surface level, things that you need to work for. These next things are more about your mindset and how you act and behave in a server. First off, understand Bloxburg lingo. I mean, if you're in a server and people are saying ABC and uh, I'm on Pizza Planet and you're sitting there like, what, what do you mean? Bestie, you need to catch up. You need to keep up with the times. Actually, this is the perfect place for me to be right now. I'm gonna teach you guys the Bloxburg lingo in school real quick. This is a lot better. Okay. <laughs> Some of the Bloxburg lingo includes pizza side and burger side for which side of the map you're on. I know there's technically like road names. Uh, obviously ABC4. I mean, that's a classic. That's not just Bloxburg. Coeptus, you need to know who Coeptus is. I mean, he's an icon, the legend, and he is the moment. 
Tom. Tom is also an important side character in everyone's main character story. Tom will show up at your house uninvited. And Tom is just Tom, you know? He's just kind of kind of creepy, actually. So you need to know who Tom is. You need to keep your eye out for Tom. Tom should be on a watch list. School is what all the role players call the city hall. Because at the time of filming this, we still don't have a brick and mortar school. Hello? Anyway, working at Pizza Planet always for like 99% of the time refers to working as a pizza deliverer and not actually working making the pizzas. So get that right. If someone tells you they're working at Pizza Planet, they're not. They're out getting their fresh air on their little moped. And neighborhoods, if you don't know for some reason, is what they call Bloxburg private servers. So if someone says, I'm hopping into my neighborhood, it's their little fancy little place they live in, okay? They're a rich Bloxburg player. I hope you guys enjoyed this school segment. Uh, hopefully, oh, no one's, no one's here. Huh, I wonder where they all went. There goes my teaching career. Maybe I'm better off being a YouTuber anyways. Number six, type with proper style in like pizzazz. This is a really, really random point, but I remember when I was role playing a few years ago when I was a little wee lad. I used to love to type with like grammar and properly or in all caps or in lower caps with the little asterisks around doing things. Even better so using emojis is great, except Roblox recently introduced this weird feature where you can like actually use real emojis. And so now every time that I type this smiley face, it always puts in some weird emoji. How are you dancing? <laughs> Anyways, whether that be it's all nice and capitalized and you have proper grammar, or if you're talking in all lowercase, that's also fun. Maybe with some extra exclamation points. You know, just putting a little effort into how you type for some reason is just cool. Like you look cool if you type cool. I don't know if I'm digging a little too deep here and like no one else thinks how I think right now, but okay. I just think that typing with pizzazz and meaning and taking a little more time behind each sentence that you send makes you a cool person. Like people who do that in servers, they just seem cool to me. I want to be them. And if you even want to be extra, you can be one of those role players that does like eats, sits, down, farts, oopsies. And then everyone else in the server can be like really disturbed by what you're doing, you know? I know that's such a random point and I don't know if I'm digging into that a little too deep, but let me know. Does anyone else think that people who type with like meaning are cool? Or am I just delusional? You know, if I'm delusional, I should probably go to, to the therapy room. Number seven on my list is be kind and sharing. <laughs> I literally feel like a school teacher right now telling you guys, guys, be nice. Sharing is caring. But hear me out, okay? When someone comes up to your house and goes, can I please have a little bit of money? Maybe donate. I mean, this can be the smallest things like giving someone a ride with your fancy little $2,000 car that only sits two people. I mean, it's never cool or pro to be mean to people. I mean, just don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Donate. Why not? You know, the money's gonna come back one day. You might as well give it away. I mean, it is blocked. This is Bloxburg currency. It's not that big of a deal if you share it with other people. <laughs> I'm talking to you guys, all the people out there who have signs in front of their house that say, No, I do not donate. Which granted, you know, that is in your right to do that. I would do that too. But maybe once in a while, be a little nice Bloxburg citizen and donate to other people. Number eight goes hand in hand with my last point, but interact with your neighbors. I mean, you got 12 people in the same server. Not in this server. I'm lonely. But usually you're on a server with 12 other people and it's rare that I join a Bloxburg server and I see people actually interacting with each other. Usually everyone's just in build mode, minding their own little business. It's like we're all in New York City, man. I don't know why I said New York City. I just, for some reason, I think that people in New York City never talk to each other, but I could be completely wrong. <laughs> so you can interact with your neighbors by not only role playing, but delivering maybe a plate of cookies that is poisoned. And sorry, I got a little off topic there. But yeah, maybe deliver them some cookies, maybe leave them a nice little message. I don't know how you do that, but go knock on their door, ask how their day's going, interact with the server. It's getting to a point where it feels like we're all in our little prisons and our little houses and we never say anything. I miss the old days when I joined the server and everyone was in everyone's business all the time, like trolling, role playing, <sighs> the good old days. Number nine on my list is collect the blocks from trophies and preferably have them in a little case on your wall or maybe on your mantles, like in your house. Here's a great example. I have a few trophies displayed. Few of these aren't trophies. <laughs> Whatever. We got the 2020 Christmas hunt. Uh, I guess this is seven days of logging in. So collect as many trophies as you possibly can. I mean, there's a lot that they do. They do like seasonal trophies and there's even a lightning trophy. And if you have that, I mean, you're a pro pro at Bloxburg. I don't really know anyone except Bramp who has the lightning trophy. And if you don't know what that is, basically you have to stand in rain and thunderstorms and wait till you get struck by lightning at a random chance. And it's basically impossible. As you can see, I have all my trophies 
trophies displayed in a theater. Speaking of theaters, you probably usually come to these buildings so you can watch your favorite people perform. Which is a nice segue into my final 10th point, which is watch your favorite Bloxburg YouTubers. <laughs> Yes, I had to include this one, okay? I mean, we're here for a reason. By watching us, you can get inspiration for your next build, what you want to do in Bloxburg. I mean, you're doing it right now. I assume I'm your favorite Bloxburg creator and you're watching me. So like, you already have the 10th point checked off. Good job. Bloxburg YouTubers help you stay up to date with like, what's happening. I mean, not me, really. I never do update videos because I'm too hashtag lazy. But by watching YouTubers, you get inside information that most Bloxburg players wouldn't know just by normally playing the game. So that is my final point on how to become a Bloxburg pro. I know half of this video was pretty superficial, you know, and I don't expect everyone to actually check off all this stuff. I sure haven't. And I've been playing this game for five years. But maybe if you came from my last video, like I said, where I gave a hundred people Bloxburg for free, maybe you need a little help to learn how to become a pro really fast. And if you haven't watched that video yet, I will link it right here. So thank you all so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed whatever this was. Let me know if you'd like a part two to this and if you learned anything new and I will see you all later. Bye my beautiful bubbles.